Hi there and welcome to today's online prayers for St Matthew's Burnley. Hope you're doing okay. Today the church remembers Mary Magdalene who's a really key figure in all four gospels. Um, her name appears lots of times and we learn quite a lot about her and the way that she was committed to following Jesus. Mother Enid's written an excellent post on our Facebook group about Mary Magdalene and I really encourage you to read it and to find out more about her. So as I pray today, I'm going to focus our prayers, um, being inspired by the faith and example of Mary Magdalene. So let's pray together. God of all, we give you thanks for the faith and the example of Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene received transforming healing from you. We pray, God, for everyone longing for healing today. We think especially of those we know who are suffering. And we pray that you would bring them your comfort and your peace. Mary Magdalene, along with other women such as Joanna and Susanna, provided for Jesus and his 12 disciples as they journeyed through towns and villages sharing the good news of the kingdom. We give thanks to you God for all who provide out of their own resources to enable the gospel to be proclaimed and we pray that you would help your church to use all their resources wisely. Mary Magdalene stood at the foot of the cross remaining close to Jesus as he died. We pray for all those accompanying those who are dying. We give thanks especially for the care offered by hospices and pray, God, that you would continue to fill those who work in palliative care with kindness and compassion. We give thanks especially for the work of Pendleside Hospice in our community and pray that you would continue to give energy and a sense of joy to all involved in their work. Mary Magdalene was the first to greet the risen Jesus and shared the amazing truth of his victory over death with other disciples. Help us, God, to be confident and to be keen to share what you have done and are doing with our friends, with our neighbours, with others in the church and beyond the church. Mary Magdalene has been, and sometimes still is, demonised, sidelined, misrepresented, or made into a spectacle. We pray, God, for all who have an unfair reputation. Help us to see people as you see them, God, made in your image and blessed with many gifts and talents. Loving God, we give thanks for the faith of Mary Magdalene. May she be an example to us all. Amen. So I hope you find it helpful to perhaps just look up a bit more about Mary Magdalene's journey today, to read some of those passages in the Bible that talk about her. And I hope that she might continue to inspire your prayers and your conversations with God as we go through the today. Take care, I'll see you all again soon.